once again uh, we are going to be dealing with the secrets of spiritual fitness before we continue a word of prayer is relevant and important thank you dear father for your words for giving us an understanding of the need of spiritual fitness for revealing to us secrets that we can all practice and make them an important part of our lifestyle as we grow and develop continue to be with us now and even as these information have been shared may we be benefited therefrom and we thank you in jesus name amen so we are looking at some spiritual application and uh we, we 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 have already talked about how physical exercise can help us function better have a, a clearer mind and a healthier body we have mentioned that this also impacts spiritually uh at physical health and spiritual health are linked uh we can find in in in, in any major bookstore books about physical fitness and its importance but we must understand that spiritual fitness is just as important so let us look at how we can avoid the problem of spiritual fat and become spiritually fit uh, as we we look at this we would recognize that this is vitally important for us today and we ask ourselves the question where are we spiritually uh, one we might say we are starved meaning that many don't feed their spiritual nature at all uh, secondly we may see that we are eating junk food uh, and this is just taking on board all the current fashionable spiritual nonsense. Uh, we may also be considered fat, not spiritually healthy because of a poor spiritual diet. Or we may be overweight because there is no spiritual fitness program. Or we may be dead or dying because we may still be operating physically. But the spirit is gone so where are you on this list now the good thing is that uh, we can share uh, the principles that we would have learned about physical health and apply them to our spiritual health as well you see you don't have to discover new rules just apply the ones that we have so let us look at some uh, spiritual fitness basics. You see, like Alcoholic Anonymous, who uh, require everyone in their program to say out loud that they are an alco alcoholic, you have to say out loud that you are spiritually unfit. You have to admit the problem before you can even begin to deal with it. So what is the problem? Our spiritual unfitness can show itself in many ways. So let's do a little bit of self-analysis. Just check the comments you are going to hear and see what applies to you. First, I don't think much about spiritual things. Secondly, I go to church, but I don't feel involved. Next, I think we are all part of a spiritual consciousness. Continue, I want to be good, but. Next, my religious life is like going through the motions. Following, I don't pray much. Continuing, my God is all that is good within me. Next, I keep trying, but I am a spiritual failure. 
continued, I am religious, but I don't go to church. Next, I know the spiritual theory, but the practice is difficult. Continuing, I believe spirituality is just human longing. Continue, I pray, but I am not getting anywhere. Next, I have achieved enlightenment myself. Next, I have tried to be religious, but it doesn't work. Next, I used to be a believer, but I don't know anymore. Penultimately, I have no idea about spirituality at all. Finally, I feel a long way from God. Now, if it helps you, you could just uh, write down some of the challenges you face, spiritually speaking. Some people find keeping a diary or a journal helps them to focus. As Dallas Willard says, understanding is the basis of care. If you would care for your spiritual core, your heart or will, you must understand it. Uh, so I'm going to hold up here at this time and we are going to continue on the next day or dealing with uh, some of the basic fitness, spiritual fitness issues. But we must understand that unless we are prepared to accept or admit that we have a problem, we will not be able to deal with our spiritual fitness. So may God help us that we see the problem, even as we, we would have gone through uh, the list and would want to make the necessary the necessary admission so that we can apply solutions to the situation. Thank you again, dear Father, for showing us our true position. May we be determined in our hearts that we would do all that we can by your grace to overcome our spiritual unfitness and to be spiritually fit. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.